Hi, welcome to Quick Tips, and today I'm going to look at how to set up the return to home failsafe on your Paris flight board. So I'm going to go through the process with you now. This only obviously works if you've got a GPS module on your Paris flight controller, but it's a really neat trick. Um, first thing to, to note is you don't do this in code. It's all done with your radio settings and what you've set in the GUI. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you what I've got set in the GUI as far as return to home. So you need to set this up first. And what I've got is I've got AUX2 channel here. When it goes high, I'm going to select angle, barrow, mag, and GPS home. It's not highlighting GPS home at the moment because I don't have a GPS fix. Uh, none of these highlight or actually will work unless you do have a GPS fix and I'm sitting here at my desk and I don't get GPS lock. So, um, but you can tell by the fact that Barrow and Mag is on and by this here that I've actually selected it just because it doesn't show. Um, don't let that worry you. Okay, so. All right, so I've set up that Ox2 switch, right, for return to home. Now, this is radio dependent, so I'm not going to show you on my radio because yours will be different. What you need to do is then save some failsafe settings from your radio. Now, this requires that your radio be able to actually save all channels as failsafes. Uh, some radios let you do it. The, most radios these days let you do it. Some won't let you do it. Some will only let you um, do a failsafe on, say, the throttle channel, uh, in which case this is a bit pointless but anyway so what I've got set here so what I've done is I'm going to save my failsafe settings like this I want throttle centered my other gimbals centered and aux2 on and I'm going to save that as my failsafe settings to the receiver on my Scarab aircraft okay so the gimbals all centered and aux2 on so basically what that means is that in barrow hold, that's going to mean that with the throttle centered, it'll just hold altitude. Throttle up a little means it'll climb slowly. Throttle down a little means it'll descend slowly, but I want it centered because I want it to just come back at that set altitude, at the altitude it was at, okay? So save those settings to your fail safe to your radio. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how it works. So I'm flying around in normal flight mode in angle mode at this point, and my radio turns off. Boom, or I go out of range. And as you can see, my fail safe now goes aux2 high, my four sticks are centered close enough, the throttle being a little high isn't a problem. And so that means the aircraft's gonna start flying back to me as soon as it loses radio signal. Now, there is a bit of an issue here in that as soon as it reacquires signal, as soon as it all comes back on, it's going to come back on with whatever settings are on the radio. So if I've dropped throttle, my airframe's now going to fall out of the sky. Um, it might, and it's going to drift around based on what these, where these sticks are and stuff. So what I re recommend you do is, just as a matter of procedure, is if you're flying around and suddenly you notice either through your on-screen display or just watching the aircraft, it has suddenly turned and started heading towards you. That means um, the failsafe has become active. What I recommend you do is instantly go to middle throttle and flick into return to home. That means when the airframe reacquires signal from your controller, it's going to keep coming back towards you and you want it to keep coming back. The last thing you want is it suddenly to turn back to manual flight the second it gets signal back because it's going to go back out of range again you want to get it to fly back to you a fair bit preferably land because obviously something's not great um so you want it to come all the way back to you or part way back to you before you flick out of return to home and then start flying manually again okay i'll catch you guys online